So, so at the outset, I should say that um, I, w I do welcome this bill. Um, we spoke in the last Finance Committee on the assessment of um, where we had got with the motor insurance. And I know the CSO have said that, you know, that people's premiums are down 23%, but I will be writing to you with the information that I have collated um, from a number of surveys that I have done, which really wouldn't reflect that at all. But I'll write to you under separate cover and maybe get your, uh, your, your comments on it because it is, uh, it is quite worrying. Uh, but I do welcome this bill. We've talked about it for long enough because transparency is the key identified by the Finance Committee uh, when we examined this issue in detail uh, over the last two years. I do, however, think that the legislative approach taken is weak and hands too much scope to the central bank to interpret, interpret the will of the Oireachtas. Uh, we have had eight progress reports to date on changes made to the insurance sector. Uh, when I and others uh, uh, quiz the Minister about the lack of progress on many, many elements of the cost of insurance working group's plan, uh, we were told uh, that we need to look at the database uh, at, as it was the main element and not to get distracted by the other parts that were way behind schedule or have been dropped. Uh, well, here it is, and it could be a lot better. I do have doubts about whether the database the Minister envisions uh, will ever see the light of day, given that this legislation is basically an enabling piece of law to allow the central bank to go ahead and do what it wants, and I don't think that that's good enough. When the idea of the database was first mooted, most people would probably imagine it to be a database that they as consumers uh, could consult uh, to check out details of insurers. Instead, it's only an industry database held by the central bank. So it's very limited uh, in the form of its transparency. At the second stage in the Dáil, uh, my party raised the issue of whether the central bank is indeed the right body to hold and to manage uh, this database. Other suggestions were put out there, such as the Personal Injuries Assessment Board or the CSO. The Minister is proceeding with the central bank as the body responsible, but he's failing to draw up the tight enough instructions for the central bank to operate it. Technically speaking, there is nothing in this bill to guarantee that any motor insurer would be included. I accept uh, that it is the intent is there. Uh, but much leeway is given to the central bank and there's no legal onus to actually include uh, motor insurers. Public liability insurers are kicked down the road and again there's no legal obligation to have them included. I have concerns too that the reporting rules put will allow insurers to muddy the waters by declaring all sorts of costs as expenses, meaning they will look as if they are less profitable than they are. As legislators, we shouldn't simply tell the central bank to go and make regulations. We are the ones accountable and should influence primary law. In this case, we should be using this influence to tighten up the transparency standards. The other parts of the bill that concern me are the changes to the Civil Liability and Courts Act 2004. And I think these are very serious changes. We cannot simply go along with every change suggested because it's sold as tackling a fraud. We are running the danger of going through a period of reform in the insurance industry and the only thing that's actually reformed is that it becomes far more difficult to make a legitimate claim. The idea of legislation allowing the courts to draw an inference is pushing the boundaries of constitutionality and we need to tread very carefully here. But I certainly support uh, the bill, but we will examine a number of committee stage amendments that may enhance it. But I would like to thank you, Minister, uh, for taking on board uh, one of our party's amendments at report stage uh, within the Dáil. I do think we can work together, but I think there are very serious things that need to be addressed within it. Um, and it, certainly it would be our intention to enhance it in every way that we can. Uh, but also to get it through as speedily as possible because we do uh, share the concerns with yourself of the high cost of motor insurance 
uh, insurance and the greater transparency that's needed all around to allow more competition into the, the market, but um, to allow us to unblock some of the barriers that are there that are preventing people from getting reasonable uh, motor insurance and insurance in general.